what is up you guys so today's gonna be a tutorial showing you guys how to do this color animation effect and Andreas Hem actually used a similar effect in his latest video and I'm sure many others too but yeah I'm gonna show you guys how to do this effect in Premiere Pro so basically you can use any type of clip I'm just using a clip that's on a tripod because it'll be easier for me I guess so the first thing you're gonna do is just hold all on the clip and drag it to the second line so you guys have two copies of the clip. And then basically you can cut that second layered clip into like several small cuts. And you can press C for cut to cut everything. Depending on how small your cuts are will be how long the animation will last. But you can always adjust how the cuts are later. So basically I'm just going to go to my first cut. So basically for the first clip, I'm just going to go to the pen tool right under opacity and create a mask. And basically I'm just going to go to a random object in this frame. I guess I'll just go to this building just because it's super easy to mask. So basically you can't see anything right now, but once you've closed that mask and we turn the eye off on our bottom layer, you'll see what the actual second clip is and it's basically just that part of the building so now you can add different effects onto this mask so some things you can use is the blending modes and just changing and playing around with the different color burns or other effects on that but I don't really like to use that but I think in Andreas's video he kind of used like color dodge and then made the opacity a little bit lower but yeah you can play around with that but what you can also do is go to effects and put lumetri color on the clip and then you can also play around with like temperature or exposure or things just to make slight changes into that mask so you can kind of notice it. Um, another thing you can do is go to creative and just change the shadow tint so it has like a small little color on it. So if I just go to the highlight tint and put it towards the pink it'll be like a pink look and I think I'm just just gonna work with that look so basically it's only there for like the point however like 0.2 seconds that my clip is and then once I go to the second cut it's gone so basically this is how you want to make an animation so you can use the pen tool again to create a mask on a different building this time so I'm just doing the exact same thing just creating a shape on a different building and then I'm just going to go to my first clip and go to Lumetri Color and then just press Command C to copy and then Command V to paste it on my second clip just to have the same effect. But you can always change the colors and put different effects. But I'm just showing you guys how to do this like plain and simple. So if you watch it back, it goes just from the first building to the second. So basically you just keep doing this with all these cuts. And if you don't like how short it is, you can always adjust that. But I'm, I could just skip the third cut just for fun and then go to the fourth cut and create another mask and do the same thing and just paste the Lumetri color. So yeah, if you watch it back, it just hops, or the pink stripe just hops around all the buildings. And yeah, if you match it to the beat of the music, it could look like a pretty cool effect. Okay, now also if you want two of the little masks to be on one clip, for example, I want my second mask on the building to be at the same spot where my fourth mask is. You can just hold Alt on the clip and then drag it up to the third line. And then just extend it and shape it the way your fourth cut is. And then basically, if you drag over it, you can see that both the two buildings have the effect. So yeah, this is a cool effect that you can actually do a lot of different things in. You don't have to use like the shadow or tint or any. You could basically adjust like the brightness or other things. And yeah, you can create some cool stuff with this effect. And I'd love to see what you guys do with it. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.